Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe, and today I'm right here in my humble abode, and we're going to do another edition of the Ghost Letters Report. Now we're going to talk about something we haven't brought up in a little while, that is of course um, a development at Fukushima Nuclear Power Plant. Apparently what's happened here is that over 200 tons, 203 tons to be exact, of highly contaminated water was pumped into the wrong damn building at Fukushima Nuclear Power Plant. Now, according to GG Press, which is a um, Jap Japan-based news outlet, here's some of the details on it. Now, apparently what's happened here is that um, the tainted, tainted water, as it's a euphemistically referred to, was pumped into the wrong building. Now, the water in question, as they report here, per liter, and check this out, contained 10 million BQ of cesium-134 and 27 million BQ of cesium-137. Now, both these types of cesium are man-made radioactive material, which is very different from naturally occurring radioactive material so don't let people fool you when they make these comparisons but oh you know at high level you know it happens in the environment background radiation this is not background radiation my friends this is man-made highly radioactive highly dangerous nuclear radiation in this water and it shows a level of incompetence that is unbelievable you're dealing with a situation which is horrible and already very difficult to handle and you do this you don't even know you forget which pumps are on and off where to put the water and all of this now they claim the water did not reach the ocean but that really wouldn't matter because I just came out previously Tepco had admitted that hundreds of tons of highly radio radioactive water is already flowing freely into the ocean every day. Now, given these numbers and TEPCO's history of incorrectly reporting radiation numbers and having to go back later and give a new estimate, which was usually far higher, I suspect this is worse than they claim. But why? Why do things like this keep happening up at Fukushima MPP? Why all the radiation leaks? Why can't they get anything under control? Why does the situation progressively get worse? Well, in the past, we would simply say TEPCO's incompetent, or TEPCO doesn't give a damn, or TEPCO's not really prepared. But as things have progressed, we've learned more and more. And now we know, and I've done a few videos on this, and it's widely known in the Japanese press, the real reason that this continues to be a very difficult situation is because of the workers that they're hiring, the manner in which the workers are trained, or lack of training and skill, and how they're treated. Work conditions at Fukushima, not to make an understatement here, is not all that good. You can obviously see why. The people who are hired to do this work are often done through Yakuza-based contractors. The people who are hired are the most vulnerable in society. The homeless. The mentally handicapped. The desperately unemployed. And now also, people who developed a vice due to social alienation in Japan ended up in debt to the Yakuza. So they're forced to go up there and work effectively for free. And the payment system never works out. A lot of people go up there and end up owning, owing money to the contractors because the contractors siphon off all these daily bonuses and things through housing, food, and other things. Often these workers are not given proper training. They're basically told very simple directions. Go in there, do that. If I told them to risk 
and, and often if I were to have any proper skills. So where does this incompetence lie? It's systematic, it seems. And who, who ends up suffering from this? Not only the general Japanese population at large, but the global population. And who gets affected by it first and most directly? The workers there. Who are so desperate for work, they're willing to do this. And they get extremely exploited. Now, there, what can we do to fight this? Well, currently, as you may know from a past video I did, the workers at Fukushima, the day laborers, have unionized. And they are standing up to this. And they are fighting as best they can. But it's a very precarious situation because they're dealing with the Yakuza. Now, so far, Yakuza have taken a rather heavy hand toward the unionized workers. Uh, the day labor union, I believe, have reported that a lot of workers disappear after even talking to the union. So the situation up there, their environmental disaster is enough to be angry about. But then when you look at the way the workers are treated, you can see that, like I said, this is systematic. This entire nuclear industry behaves this way. They treat people like garbage. Because TEPCO is a rather large corporation out of their hands in many different things. They could give up nuclear power and they could still make a lot of money. But they don't want to do that. Because controlling the nation's energy, energy supply gives these capitalists a lot of power and influence. They can get away and do whatever they want in other sectors they're involved in. So that's why, you know, they don't want Japan to stop using nuclear power. Because that takes their power away from them, marginalizes them, and allows competing capitalist groups to overtake them. Because, well, as we know, the capitalist class is not unified at all. They fight against them, one another. So, situation, material conditions here are complex that lead to this type of horrible environmental things that go on. These leaks and this incompetence and this foolishness who are dealing with this situation. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and it's enlightened you a bit. And I hope a discussion gets started on these different topics I brought up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, hey, please go ahead. You'll get videos like these, plus from time to time a few surprises. Also, I have a second channel I maintain. Uh, try to check that out as well. I'll try to put links down here to both of those. So, until next time. This is me, John Doe, in Tokyo. Checking out.